Google is the most used search engine in the whole world. That's why it is very, very important to put your business on Google Map. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Olale Yadiliki. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can list your business on Google. We all know that this this time around, Google is the most used search engine. Whereby, when you put your business on Google Map, you will get more customers from Google to your business. So, for instance, let me show you on Google Map. If you search for let's say dental dent, or dental clinic near me or let's say plumber near me google will show you businesses that I have listed already on google so let me just try that plumber near me google is going to show me plumbers that are close by which i can contact for business to at least to come and work for me as you can see so this is why you need to put your business on google so that this will help you to get more customers to your business. Without wasting much time, let me go and show you how you can list your business on Google. The first thing you need to do is to go to your browser and type my business. You type my business on Google. When you type your business on Google, you will see this link that says Google Business Profile Get Listed on Google. What you need to do is just to click on this, the first link. I'm going to leave the, leave the link on the, in the description below. So just click on the first link. It will take you to where you are going to sign in. You can see keep so what you need to do is just click on sign in. The first thing you need to do make sure you have a Google account. You must have a Google account. So you, then you click on sign in. When you sign in, it take us to where you type the business name. Currently, this the one I want to do now is for a client. So I've already gotten all the information I needed from the client, everything I need, both their <laughs> names, everything. So what I'm going to do is just go there, copy the name. As you can see, here's the name. So I'm going to just, I'm just, I'm just going to copy the name and paste, go back there, paste the name, as you can see, then it's the Coco Sculpture, then I'll select the name, then click on continue. As you can see now, it's asking me if it's a, that you choose business type. This one, what this means is that you have to choose the business type. It's an online retail, whereby customer can purchase product through your website, a local store. A local store means customer can visit your business, maybe you have a shop or you have an office where customers can come into like a restaurant you know restaurant they have way by customer can come in and eat or maybe a boutique now the third one is service business your business makes visits to customers maybe maybe you are a digital marketer you you are a, um, a graphic designer you are a designer <clears throat> this one is one that suits suit this kind of category whereby you you can provide service for business owners without you leaving your location or you provide service of these people by visiting their, you know, visiting your customer. You have to go to their, maybe their office. You have to go to their home. Maybe you do some home service. So this is this one will um, work for you. So what we are going to do now? What I'm going to do is a local store because the owner, the person have is a, 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 a shop. So I'm going to select local store. The next thing you're going to do is click on next. When you click on next, it's going to take you to where you select business category. So I'm going to go back to the list to the details. They give me then now select business category beauty and spa then go back to go back come back here and paste it beauty and spa so if nothing shows up then i'm going to go back and see okay let me first select beauty salon because they are still the same thing then i'll select beauty salon then click on next so now it's asking i should enter the business address so the address is already here this is the address See the address here so i'm going to copy that then come here paste it here as you can see then come here local government area is Calabria. so i don't really know the let me check on my i will i will use google to check for this location on google to see where it's located in calabar because what i'm doing now is located in calabar so let me place it here extension calabar lga so let's see what's going to give us so it's calabar municipal so i just copy this and go back to where i'm doing this thing and paste it here calabar municipal city is calabar then postal code then 
I will check for, for the postal code for this year. So, so Alaba Municipal Postal Code. You just can see. So I'll copy the postal code. Then, to this one I'm going to use. Copy this. Paste it here. Then select the state, Cross River State. So select the state. Then, as you can see, all the information. And now complete then i'll click on next so now i'll click on next here also then i'll put on put in the phone number so here's the phone number i'll put in the phone number then at the web website this is very very important because right now to verify a business profile on google you have to have a website because these days if you are trying to use what's it called to verify a true business video it, it may not go through if you are going to try to verify a true phone it may not go through the best option left now is to use a website so i've already put a domain and hosting for this website for this for this stuff so what i'm going to do is just to copy just to copy the see how see the name here just copy this then paste it here now just put www dot as you can see then I'll click on next so why I did I want to, I want to use it to do to verify the account so I click on continue I don't know where I mean just click select is it is, this one is optional you can select it and you may not be choose or you may not choose it so let me, let me just leave it then click on continue So now, as you can see, you see the reason why I said you should put website. <coughs> Excuse me. As it been, I didn't put website. It will only give me option to choose business video. Why business video is not working is that if you are trying to record your business video and, and um, upload it, it will bounce back. It doesn't go through these days. About lot of people have been complaining about this. So I always suggest you use email. You verify via email whereby. You just buy you can buy dot com and dot ng domain at least with five to six thousand i bought this one for at least five thousand five hundred yesterday then i use so that i'll be able to get the code so if i click on next now to take me to where i'll just put this email to take me take me to where i'll just put this info at coco's culture so what i'll just do is now i'll just click on next then you see it's info at coco culture you see info at coco culture so if i click on next now they will send a code to this email address which i will now use to do the verification so you will see what i'm saying now so now it said enter the five digit verification code from the message sent to info at google.com so if i go to the email and refresh so let me refresh. it may take a while before it enters so i'll keep on refreshing so let me reload the page so I'll keep on refreshing. It will come. It will just take a while. So I'm going to pause pause this video, then refresh till I get the code. Then I'll start the video again. So as you can see, here is the code. So what I'll just do is that I'll just open this email and you see the code here just copy this code come back here and paste so if i paste now you tell me that you are now verified now you say you are now verified as you can see now what i'll do is just click on next now the verification is the profile is not is not yet live but it will take like five days before it come come live so now i have to do some other customization here add the service add the um um the custom service so what i'll do is i'll skip this one for now then i'll come back to do all the services so let me skip this i can add this one later so now i will add i have to add working hour so working hour from monday to you know, work from let me say the working hour 8 a.m to 5 p.m so i'll go back there and input that so that will be 8 
am five five pm so the same time Friday is to Monday to Saturday eight pm eight pm five pm eight am five pm eight am five pm sorry five pm 8 a.m. 5 p.m. So 8 a.m. 5 p.m. So let me just zoom in. Stop it. Okay, now 5 p.m. Let me, let me reset it. So now this one has been set. So I'll click on next to save the timing. Now description of this. I'll just copy the description they gave me. Then I can refine it later. So let me let me just use this one. Copy this. Go back to the account, the profile, and paste. So as you can see, then click on next. So now they're asking me to upload photo. So I don't for now I can skip this then go come back later and edit. This one is something you can do on your own. So you can later add picture, you know. But so that what I will just I'll just skip this one. Now you said I should claim this, and I'm not going to claim anything. I'll just click on skip. Skip. Now your edit will be visible once your you are verified you can continue to make update on your profile at any time all your edit will be visible to customers on google once once you have been verified now click on continue like i said earlier the account has been verified but not yet live the difference between verify and the difference between live so now the account has been verified you see google culture now you said google is processing your verification it may take up to five days so within five days or less the account to be verified so this is what you need to do once your account is verified you can now it will be it to show here yeah, it will have something like, okay let me show you something once an account is verified this is what it's going to show let me show you something I'm coming so once an account is verified this is what's going to show so Come on, let me quickly show you something. So once an account is verified, you will see this blue mark here. It will show blue, this blue mark here. So let this one load. It will show this blue mark here to indicate that here yeah, the account has been verified and it's now live. So when it's now live, anybody can search for the account and see it anywhere in the world. That's one of the advantage of Google Business Profile. Anybody in the world can search for your business and you'll get a business details. So as you can see, after it has been verified, you see that I want it to load. Okay, you see, you'll be able to view performance of your account, add updates, ask for review, then read reviews, reply to reviews. You know. So let's go back to what we are doing. So now here now you can edit your profile. You know, you can see edit your profile, add opening date add chat add social media account add menu link that's for your rest that's for restaurant so then service area so these people they they send me their service area. so let me just go and add that so these are service service areas so service areas and we go so i'm going to copy this then come here paste and go nigeria then go back again to Suka paste 
then go back and back out the key so go back to the account based Nigeria then the next last one is Auka so this is a service area service area let me I will explain service area for you now to know so Auka Nigeria so what is service area service area is the areas when people search for you whereby your service can reach let's say let's say you are a plumber now and you can serve let's say you are in Abuja and you can serve Kogi State you can serve Nasarawa you can serve Niger State you can serve the likes of Sulija you can serve the likes of those Kaduna roads so those kind of places you will now put them in your service so that people someone who is in Kogi can search for you and say okay a plumber near me you may you may you'll be able to show to someone who is in Kogi state and you, you, you are still in Abuja that's the advantage of having service area in your business it's very very important to leave them out so that whenever anyone is searching for a service across that area you will also show up to them that okay this person is, is close to you so that you, you can you can travel to that place even if you provide let's say you are a service based business owner maybe you are a graphic designer you can put all those all these places in your in your service area so that anybody who is in that location can search for you and you get to see your service so now what you need to do just after that you click on save so after it has been saved it will not be visible until the account is verified as you can see so you can add your special hour this this business is owned by a woman so i'm going to, going to um what's it called i'm going to go to amen i think it's amenities i said okay not in amenities accessibility from this business identify as woman owned yes this business is owned by a woman so you can check all this accessibility if children can come there if they have a parking space if all, so all these things are things you, you put in place so you can do service option on site services available maybe people can come to you to the place so definitely people can go to the place and work with them so all these things are things you should put in place so your social media accounts if you have social media accounts so the client has not sent me their social media accounts i will have add that so they are they've not sent me their opening date once they do that i'm good to add that so if all these things are in place the next thing to do is just to close the account and wait until it is verified so if you find this video valuable kindly like share and subscribe to my youtube channel as i will be dropping tips on how to make also make money from all these little gift skills I'm going to teach you how, how you can make money from using Google Maps. There are a lot of people don't, who don't know that, oh, you can actually make money from Google Maps. This thing I'm doing here, it, it's a client that paid me to do it for them. And this is it's something you can also do and make money from it. So in my next video, I'm going to show you comprehensive ways you can make money from using Google Maps. So thank you so much. See you in my next video.